You're still listening to Kumbang Channel and this is KT News. A four-year-old girl died at the Kondesau Januario Hospital on Wednesday morning after it was discovered she was suffering from heart disease and hyperthyroidism. While receiving treatment at the hospital, the child developed a fever and contracted influenza A. But doctors say that was not the cause of her death, Macau Daily Times reported on Thursday. The girl was initially admitted to the hospital's emergency ward last Sunday with cardiac problems. Her heart was dilated and after physical examination, the doctors understood that she was suffering from heart disease and hyperthyroidism. Despite treatment, the child's condition worsened until she stopped responding and suffered a heart attack. The doctors tried to resuscitate her but were unsuccessful. At a press conference organized on Wednesday by the Health Bureau, doctors stressed that influenza was not the cause of the child's death. Macau is in peak season for the flu and the past week has seen the admittance of several children to Macau hospitals with serious cases of the virus. As of yesterday, about 127,000 influenza vaccines have been administered out of the 170,000 ordered by health services in the city. All frontline police officers will be equipped with pepper spray cans by the end of this month, Secretary for Security Wong Siu Chuck has announced, the Macau Post Daily reported on Friday. Wong made the remarks on Wednesday on the sidelines of a public function, according to a statement by the Macau Government Information Bureau GCS. Macau's top security official made the announcement when asked by the media about the recent incident in which a public security police PSP officer fired a warning shot when attacked by three men in a no-smoking area outside Galaxy Macau. The officer had repeatedly told the trio to stop smoking in the area, but to no avail. The three suspects were arrested by fellow police officers who had rushed to the scene to assist their colleague, who sustained minor injuries in the incident, in subduing the three mainlanders. Macau's top tourism official welcomed competition among airlines using the local airport, saying that it was always advantageous to have more competition as it would raise service quality, according to a report by the Macau Post Daily this week. Macau Government Tourist Office MGTO Director Maria Helena de Sena Fernandes made the remarks when asked by reporters about this week's announcement by the Macau Civil Aviation Authority AACM that it had decided not to renew the 25-year-long monopoly concession of Air Macau when it expires in November next year. Sena Fernandes also said that her office was open to work with all airlines serving Macau. We are always open to work with any airline, she said including those in Hong Kong, adding that her office was having good relations with Air Macau, but we are also working with other airlines that fly to Macau. There are currently 35 airlines connecting Macau to 56 destinations. Meanwhile, the tourism office announced in a press conference at Macau Tower on Wednesday that this year's Chinese New Year parade will be held on the third day and the sixth day of the Chinese New Year, February 7 and February 10, respectively. Also known as Lunar New Year, the Chinese New Year this year will begin on February 5. According to Wednesday press conference, this year's parade will feature a range of activities such as a float parade, artistic performances, fireworks and a float exhibition. Sena Fernandes pointed out that the annual Chinese New Year parade has gradually developed into one of Macau's signature festive events. The government has authorized the private Macau University of Science and Technology, MUST, to run a bachelor's degree course in medicine and surgery, the first of its kind in Macau, according to an executive order issued by Secretary for Social Affairs and Culture, Alexis Tam Chon Wang, published in the official Gazette Bio on Monday, as reported on Tuesday by the Macau Post Daily. According to the curriculum for the program published together with the executive order, the duration of the program lasts six years. In their final academic year, students have to join a clinical internship. According to the curriculum, the program will be conducted in English and Chinese. The order takes effect the next day after its promulgation in the Gazette. After given the green light to run the degree, Dean of the Faculty of Health Sciences, Dr. Manson Fock, stated that the university is keen to train these medical students to an international standard, Macau Daily Times reported. He added that MUST has the international recognition of over 20 universities willing to assist them. 
in an interview with TDM, Falk mentioned that the professors, who are mainly doctors from Hong Kong, would run the curriculum. The curi in doing our curriculum, we'll be able to send our students overseas for part of the training. I think it's a very exciting curriculum, which I don't think is available anywhere else, he said. MUSD has reportedly signed agreements with universities in Australia, the United Kingdom, Portugal and the United States. During the six-year course, the med students have two to four opportunities to go abroad on an exchange that lasts from six weeks to two months. The dean also called on exceptional students to join the medical program, pointing out that the university is willing to provide full scholarships to its top students. And for some flash news around Macau, the Macau government has agreed to install cameras in local taxis and, if needed, such as in terms of disputes between drivers and passengers or in accidents, the recorded videos would be used for investigations. According to the local government, the video data will be automatically deleted from the taxi's black box after 30 days. The Transport Bureau, DSAT, has announced in a statement that the period for the payment of this year's road tax is from January 1 to April 1. All owners of motorized vehicles should proceed with the payment within those dates to avoid a financial penalty for overdue payment, the statement points out. Local authorities has announced that a worker fell to his death in an industrial accident on a construction site for a rainwater drainage system project on the peninsula's northern coast on Wednesday morning. The victim was a 59-year-old local man surnamed Chen. Local Jones Lang LaSalle representatives have forecasted that property prices for residential and retail units in Macau will drop up to 10% this year. Tedib's oldest son, local Indonesian and former Casino Lisboa executive Willie Yip, who passed away earlier this month at the age of 89, will be cremated next weekend in Hong Kong. A memorial service for Yip, who moved to Macau from Indonesia in early 1960s, will be held at the Hong Kong Funeral Home in North Point on Friday night. Now the weather forecast, it will be cloudy tomorrow with local temperature to range from 13 to 18 degrees Celsius with humidity of around 50 to 85 percent. The weather in Macau will be sunny for the rest of the week, although the temperature is forecast to be mildly cold with the lowest temperature expected to range between 11 and 14 degrees and the highest temperature between 18 and 22 degrees. And until the end of the week, humidity is expected to be rather low, standing at 40 to 85 percent. For more information about the local weather, visit www.smg.gov.mo. That is all for our KT News tonight. Now let's get back to our music. This is Human, a song by Rag and Bone Man. Continue to listen to Kumbang Channel, Kumpul Bareng Yok.